Tim speaking from Skyrocket, the strategy channel. Um, so today I am going to cover a classic um, strategy uh, framework, quite recent actually, because it was designed in 2012 uh, by Martin Reeves from BCG. You can see the original article here down at the bottom in the, in the sources. Um, the origin of the framework from Martin Reeves is basically uh, uh, on the fact that there's an issue about choosing the, the, the right kind of stra strategy styles and that there's no real uh, higher helicopter view on what uh, strategy style to take. Um, for, the, for the anecdote, he defined strategy uh, in the 2014 TED talk as uh, getting a job done, uh, a tool, and uh, the job in question is winning competitively in a particular situation, to quote him. Um, and so uh, Martin Rees basically uh, said, okay, we need to, to think about what, what should be the style um, to adopt in terms of strategy before trying to implement anything. And he came up with this two by two matrix uh, plus an extra kind of uh, background to it, um, which you can see here on, on the right. So what I've done here is an attempt to basically take the theory and uh, make it more pragmatic and hands-on for um, strategists and, and business leaders. Um, so let's dive in. So there are three accesses uh, on uh, the uh, matrix. Um, so if I uh, go through them with you, uh, you will see that there are um, this first industry malleability on the x-axis, um, which is the degree to which competitors in a given market can, can influence uh, market demand, organizational performance, competitive moves, changes, etc. And the y-axis industry predictability, uh, it's basically the degree to which competitors in a given market can influence, um, uh, sorry, can sort of influence, but can, um, the degree to which the future, sorry, can be uh, correctly forecasted in, in terms of the things I mentioned before. So market demand, organizational performance, competitive moves, and market changes. Um, the combination of high and low levels on each of these different accesses uh, gives four stars. Classical, adaptive, shaping, visionary. And if you add a z-axis here, harshness, uh, it's the degree to which the current way of the organization's conducting business can be continued profitably over time. And sometimes, well, the best strategy to take is to be in a renewal kind of um, mindset, uh, while um, maybe simultaneously taking some some steps to adopt a new style. Um, each of the um, templates which I have here, so there are two, one for when you want to analyze a specific business unit in your organization and the second one, different industries, has an attached Excel model which you can see here. And so you just need to basically fill um, the table with various different uh, things um, to make it appear. So there is a method which I have built here, which you can follow uh, step by step, uh, which will explain exactly how to fill uh, this template. Um, the details of each of these um, strategic styles can be found in the description on Alokan. So um, classical, adaptive, shaping, visionary, and a renewal. Uh, you'll see they, I've tried to kind of reword um, what Martin Reeves and his team have explained and give, given a few examples as well uh, to illustrate it. Um, the last slide which I included here is one I found in Martin Reeves' TED talk, which aims at giving some history on uh, the strategy palette per business unit. So you can kind of see how things have evolved through time um, and therefore main, make you know uh, expectations for the next year in terms of where things should be going and and um, kind of explain things here in observation and inclusion. So it's a great kind of wrap-up slide um, for board meeting too. Um, what else can I say? Um, well, as usual, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me uh, by present message. I'll be happy to help. Um, the strategy palette is a very uh, innovative uh, framework um, from which you can then uh, dig deeper into other uh, frameworks um, which we've published in our channel, other people have too. So yeah, enjoy it guys and talk soon. Cheers.